All right, this video is for all the multiple rig kryptonite GPU miners out there. Let's get XM Rig Proxy 2.9.4 set up right now. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button for me, and comment below. I want to go ahead and save some folks some time. If you only have one mining rig, this is not the video for you. On the other hand, if you have multiple mining rigs pointed towards a single pool, you most definitely need to watch this video. Alright, so three elements that we're going to be concerned with your mining rigs, a host server computer on your network, and then the mining pool out on the internet. Okay, so my day job is in IT. Generally, no one knows what the heck we're talking about, besides other people in IT. So although I speak geek, I will try not to teach it from a geek perspective. In other words, I'm going to use easy to understand terminology here. So if you're watching this video, you probably already know what mining rigs are. But with that said, there's not much of a need to use a proxy server if you're not running multiple rigs. That's why I said at the beginning of the video, if you don't have multiple mining rigs, this video is not for you. Our second element on the far right is the mining pool. Now, for this particular example, we're going to be using the fast pool by Thor's Hammer. This particular pool allows you to mine one coin and get paid out in another. In this case, you're getting paid out electronium. But this example will cover just about any pool out there. And the last thing that I want to talk about on this screen is the proxy server. So, what is a proxy server? Think of man in the middle. Now, if you're close to my age, you might remember a game in which one person would whisper in the ear of another person, and then that person would relay that same story to another person. So, in this example, our proxy server communicates with the mining pool directly. It takes all of the new jobs. It submits all of the work directly to the mining pool. Now, on the other side of it, inside of your network, your mining rigs are communicating with that proxy server and not the mining pool itself. Why is this important, you ask? Very simple. Our current IP protocol our IP address system uses something called network address translation. So from the outside of the network, all the traffic on the inside, although it can be from a cell phone or a TV or a computer or multiple mining rigs, from the outside of the network, it all looks like the same exact IP address. So when the work is ready to be dished out, from the mining pool, it sends the workout to the IP address. If you have multiple miners behind your internet router, it's very, very possible that that pool is sending the same workout for multiple different machines to work on at the same time. One symptom that you might see is that work is submitted or the same work is being submitted by multiple machines behind a single IP address. The reason this is important to you is that you can only be credited for the work once. If you've got multiple machines working on the same job and submitting them near the same time, you only get credited for that one piece of work, lowering your overall shares and work submitted, i.e. your hash rate. Okay, let's get into setup. So this works best 
on a separate host that you're going to set this software up on. Now, what I mean by that is you're going to go to a host, a computer on your network, and set up this software. We're going to download it and install it, and then we're going to point each one of the mining rigs to this server on your network. All of these links will be in the description below, so just scroll down and you'll be able to click right on the link and it'll take you right to the download page here. So you'll click download, and then here is all the other XM Rig software. You're going to click the XM Rig proxy, Stratum proxy, and it's going to take you to the GitHub page where you can download your version. We're using Windows today, so this would be the version that I want to download. Okay, so once it's downloaded, you're going to want to extract the files. You're going to click on any one of these executable files. It's going to ask you to extract them, and I'm going to extract them onto the desktop. Now remember, this particular machine is on the network. It's not actually one of my mining rigs. It's the machine that I use to remote in to the network back behind my firewall. Not everybody's setup is going to be the same, but that's my setup. All right, so the first thing we want to do is open the config file up. And I have already populated this, so I'm going to go through this with you, not step by step, but I'm going to show you a link in just a minute that will give you the numbers that you need to put in for the variant or version or algo that you're trying to mine. Okay, we'll get to that in just a moment. So basically, as you look through this config file, we're mining kryptonite. We have three hosts that are going to be connecting to this proxy server. For this example, my miners are not running XMRig. They're running cast XMR. Now, you can also run this with XMR stack. My particular example is cast XMR. And that's only because two of my mining rigs have a newer version of AMD driver that XM rig does not work well with. Doesn't really matter as long as it's submitting work and asking for work from this specific device that, that we're setting up here. All right, so as we look, we're binding our work to a port number. And you'll understand more what I mean in just a moment. Basically, what this file is saying is it's listening on and sending on port 3333 or 2222 or 1111. Now, if I go to one of the hosts and I look at the configuration file, and again, this is all going to be different. I cannot tell you how exactly yours is supposed to be set up because I don't have your inside network information. All right. So instead of going to a mining pool, instead of going to a mining pool like you would normally do, we're actually going to give the mining pool and port address as well as the worker name or wallet name, the password and any other information you normally put in the miner is going to be in this configuration file for the, the XMRig proxy, okay? That's because the XMRig proxy is the one that's communicating with the pool directly not the individual mining rigs. If you've ever messed with XMR stack or uh, XM rig, this should look very familiar to you. So this is actually usually what we put in the miner itself. If you look though, 
I'm actually pointing to the IP address of this machine. And then I'm pointing to a certain port number. So via the configuration here, we are listening to any host that is coming over port 1111. That would be this guy. So when it submits work, when it asks for work, it's sending all its information out port 1111. And very simply, the proxy server or the XM rig proxy is listening and can send to this port. That's how it divides the rigs up. It divvies the work out, so to speak. There is also an XM rig configurer which will help you with first time use. So if I wanted to, I could tell it, this is obviously outdated, we're on 2.9 uh, now, and this only goes up to 2.8, but there's only some minor differences uh, in the version number, so this will at least give you a good starting point. You go to your OS, your algorithm that you're going to use, and then next, you can add your pool information, your wallet address, uh, your worker name, and tell it a pool. You can do a custom pool. You put your pool information in here. Very simple, very self-explanatory, okay? And then you follow through, and whenever you get done, it's going to spit out a configuration for you. So obviously I didn't fill in all the information, but you can see here that it did give me uh, some what of a configuration. So this, if you've never done this before, this may be a good place to start. But going back to the actual configuration file, this really isn't that difficult uh, when you look at it from a logical standpoint. All right. You can come back and look at the video if that helps you out. Now, syntax is very important here, guys. If you put a space in the wrong spot, or you take out a comma, or you uh, remove something, or add an extra space, or take a space away in the wrong spot, the miner will open up and immediately close, which means you've probably messed something up, okay? Could be your variant version number, could be anything like that. While we're on the subject, let's look at that. So there are several different guides online. You're more than welcome to take a look. Just do a quick Google search. This particular guide is good for the beginner. As you can see here, it shows the algorithm and then the variant. The variant is going to be when you want to mine something other than the original kryptonite algorithm. So you're telling it in the configuration file kryptonite and then the variant number again there's many different guides online I'll go ahead and put this in the description below for you but even uh, with this being a little bit outdated information and algorithms changing all the time you may have to play with these settings a little bit alright so back on our mining rig really doesn't matter you have to have this in or cast XMR will not start but it's it's fairly irrelevant uh, for the XM rig proxy uh, but obviously you have to have the rest of this configuration uh, most pools you don't have to put a password some require it uh, and the algo is not necessary e here either you go ahead and leave it in the only thing that you need to change is this pool and port number in your standard configuration. All right, so now that I've got the file set up the way I want, what I want to go ahead and do is double left click XM rig proxy, and it's going to be listening, it's binding on port 3333 2222 1111, 
and it's listening for work to be submitted. Now, I have other rigs that I did not stop in the background uh, that should connect here in a minute unless they've timed out. But let's go ahead and go back to this rig that's uh, sending on port 1111. And let's go ahead and click run. And as you can see, it's connecting to not the normal pool information, but the internal IP address over port 1111 right there. All right. As you can see, it works properly because it's getting this particular algorithm, Kryptonite Fast, on that Thor's Hammer pool. It's getting... Um, the jobs sent to it and it's able to submit work freely through the proxy. So let's go ahead and minim minimize that. As you can see right here I am submitting shares upstream 3, miners 3 so let's hit C for connections. And as you can see I have three active miners connected to this. Hash rate and it will take a minute to, to spool up. It looks like about 66 uh, kilohash right now. But that's it, guys. It's really easy to set up. The hardest part is the configuration of the device. Or, excuse me, the configuration of the uh, proxy itself. But as far as download and everything else, simple, easy peasy. You can see it looks like it's uh, mining okay. All right, so to the mining pool itself, as you can see, uh, it still shows up where I had the rigs uh, individually going to the mining pool. And I did notice a small uptick in hash rate, sustained hash rate, uh, from uh, my IP address to this mining pool. Uh, we're spooling up slowly. It is going to take a minute. You can see what uh, the consistent hash rates were over a 1, 6, and 24-hour period. And you can see that in my configuration, go ahead and close that out, in my configuration file, the worker name is the farm. So the rigs are not actually talking to, let me close this down, the rigs are not talking to the pool anymore. The XM rig proxy is now talking to it with the proper name or the password name of the farm. All right, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button for me and comment below.